This has been one hell of a year for Halloween costumes. First, I read a story about the CDC putting out a warning against Halloween costumes for chickens because of some sort of salmonella outbreak. I mean, this is actually news. Now we're going over to the next stage of perhaps manufacturing news with uh, the release, the firing potentially right now breaking of Megyn Kelly, the same person that interviewed Alex Jones and I think, you know, is almost done to promote him. But overall, it seems that a lot of things happen within the media to uh, amp us up and get us uh, at each other's throats, as I've been saying, without the real issues being uh, dealt with. So we're going to go ahead and um, listen to this video. But the question that I have is why would Megyn Kelly do that? Megyn Kelly apologized to her NBC colleagues and her audience Wednesday after facing backlash for saying that she saw nothing wrong with blackface Halloween costumes. CBS News correspondent Rika Duncan has more. Good morning, everyone, and welcome to the show. I'm Megyn Kelly, and I want to begin with two words. I'm sorry. Megyn Kelly has a new perspective. I learned that given the history of blackface being used in awful ways by racists in this country, it is not okay. On Tuesday, during a discussion about Halloween costumes, the 47-year-old said she didn't see anything wrong with wearing blackface. But what, but what is racist? Because, because so truly, you do get in trouble if you are a white person who puts on blackface yes. on Halloween or a black person who puts on white face yes. for Halloween. Like, I, back, back when I was a kid, that was okay as long as you were dressing up as like a character. Backlash on social media was swift. This morning, her fellow NBC colleagues didn't hold back. The, the fact is, uh, while she apologized to the staff, she owes a bigger apology to folks of color around the country because this is a history, going back to the 1830s, minstrel shows, to, to mean and denigrate uh, a race wasn't right. This is not the first time Kelly has made controversial statements. As an anchor at Fox News, Kelly said this about Santa Claus in 2013. And by the way, for all you kids watching at home, Santa just is white. Just because it makes you feel uncomfortable doesn't mean it has to change. You know, I mean, Jesus was a white man too. Kelly signed a three-year deal with NBC last year, reportedly worth $69 million, which would make her one of the highest paid anchors on television. Her transition from Fox News last year hasn't been smooth. Newspaper headlines have... So I want to raise the question, are you noticing this trend with particular people being promoted, whether it be in a positive light or a negative light in the mainstream media and certain button issues that people can personalize and, and really make their own? Are you seeing a rise in that? Because I'm seeing a rise in that on a number of different levels. You know, there's another story in which a, a black man that didn't have or didn't show his key pass uh, was confronted by a woman. And even though there are situations of racism that do exist, when I saw that mainstream media clip, I know that I've been in situations to where I've been treated as a suspect or have been treated a certain way and have had to go through certain things and no one's come to my aid. And what I see the media doing is it acts like it comes to the aid of particular groups, but there's also uh, a lot of, you know, we talk a lot about the military industrial complex and its connection with the mainstream media and uh, the destruction of the third world and the rise of the police state. So they're not really dealing with these issues. They, they're amping the population up. And even those that talk about things from a particular perspective about their tribe being under uh, soul attack, for example. There's things that I bring up that need to be considered. For example, Megyn Kelly. Is this something that she is uh, doing on purpose? Where she is knowingly playing her role in creating anger and animosity? I mean, does it, does it really make a whole lot of sense to even go about saying some of those statements? Or does it seem like a Fox News anchor would potentially be put up to something like that. And I think that people are really overlooking the reality that we're being played, that they're messing with our minds. And so that's the programming that a lot of this is doing. We'll go now and take a look at uh, some of the other reports. Megyn Kelly is out at NBC. Multiple media reports indicate after defending the use of blackface in Halloween costumes. Megyn Kelly showed her face and much more. And so this is a little bit beyond the scope of what a lot of people understand. 
But it's unfortunate that a lot of people on the left and the right think that their favorite media personalities uh, on these major corporate platforms represent them. You know, I don't think they represent them, and I think that there are people out there, agents of empire, that are deliberately doing things to make Americans, certain type of Americans, appear incredibly radical. And it is true that we have a lot of um, extreme political movements also on the left, and we are in this society where a lot more people are a little bit more okay than they used to with violence being used, as long as it's being used in the sense against their political enemy. And not everybody thinks that way, but we've been building up to this point. So when we look at the media in the past, we've seen a lot of provocative statements and actions. When I look at people, especially on Fox News, Tucker Carlson and others, these people are reading from a script and there are certain things that could be said to whip the, the masses up into a violent frenzy to where uh, anger at journalists, certain types of journalists, and I'll even say white women, so they can manufacture this anger and amplify even more so a bad situation. Let's go back to the other story that I didn't finish. So the whole nation watches a viral video of a black man that is being confronted by a woman who lives in the apartment complex and she wants to know where his little key pass is. You know, just pretend like this little key pass, this little blue piece of paper. Have you ever lived in an apartment complex? I used to live in Portland where you have a little key pass and you swipe it over the door, otherwise you don't get in. If, if I was to do a situation where uh, I'm trying to uh, come up right behind someone and get inside an apartment complex without having a pass or a key, people are gonna treat me with suspicion or other people with suspicion. So out of all the different stories that they could go with to kind of highlight discrimination, there's gonna be certain things they almost pull out of their you know what or someone's gonna have their camera ready to play victim without realizing uh, it's pretty normal to have to have a key pass to enter a bit building. And so people that want to misconfuse me as being on one side or the other, they're not aware of a lot of commentary that I'm providing that's pretty much warning America that a lot of these media figures and a lot of these media stunts seem to be there on purpose to continue the marginalization of America in preparation for the dystopian reality in which we're going into.